Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, an intake rep does a lot of things. Um, we assist patients and caregivers with getting enrolled onto the CDPAP program. So intake reps play a, pr a pivotal role. Um, we help with pushing the ca case along. So we call patients and make sure that they're contacting Naya, they're um, doing their evaluations on time, and that the insurance plans are doing the plan of care. Uh, for the caregivers, uh, we help with the health assessment forms and their hiring documents. So the number one thing I love about my role and what I do here is helping others. I really enjoy helping others. Um, I like thinking outside the box and when there's any issues or problems that arise, I like to step up and just solve it for the patients and the caregivers. The number one thing I would advise is do not get overwhelmed. It's a lot of information coming your way. You have, you're expected to learn a lot of new things, but if you're organized and you have you know, great time management skills, you should be okay. Don't be overwhelmed. <laughs> Our role in the patient journey is to be their cheerleader. We are their advocate. Uh, we hold their hand throughout the whole entire process. Uh, many times we are trying to go through these hurdles with them. Uh, we can be there as a shoulder to lean on, um, a, a cry on as well, so many things that we, that we do for them encompasses what an intake rep should do. As an intake rep in the caregiver journey, uh, we play a very important role in spreading the knowledge. A lot of these caregivers are not aware of what they need to do or how to go about enrolling. So we provide them with the tools, we assist with their medical forms, with their hiring documents, uh, we really try to hold their hand as well throughout the process. The most important quality that an intake rep should have is passion. If you're passionate about what you do, about helping others, you're gonna get the job done. Um, you know, you need to be passionate, you need to love to help others, uh, and you'll be able to be successful. So my most memorable moment was actually an escalation. Uh, the caregiver called because she was upset that the case wasn't getting on care fast enough and she was extremely rude and she was cursing and she was really upset and all I did was be there for her. I was there for her, I owned the call, I listened and she just started to just open up and at, by the end of the phone call she was calm and she even started crying because then she let me know what happened. Um, her mom actually was diagnosed with cancer that same morning, so she was desperate for the care for her mom. So I completely always, I always remember that uh, moment because I'm like, what we do here at Freedom Care, we are, we are impacting the world. We are helping patients. We are helping caregivers. They really need this help. So that was, that's such a memorable moment. And when I get overwhelmed, I always go back to that moment and just think about how much help we are actually providing.